What it do, what it do, it's your boy Jungle Book Blue. And right here, hey y'all, this right here, Nixon and the end of the Brenton Wood system, 1971-1973. And as y'all coming in, y'all hit that like button, share the video. But look, this right here, this report, as you can see, is on is on the website. And plus it say right here in the red, we got Note to readers, milestone in the history of the U.S. foreign relation has been retired and no longer maintained. For info more information, please see the full notice. So with that being said, people, they got this stuff on the internet. It's stuck. Ain't nobody messing with it. Ain't nobody maintaining it. Ain't nobody doing nothing to it. You can go back and go look at this stuff. So look. I'm a, I'm a, I went and looked at it for you, and I'm finna get it to you like this. This right here, this uh, this thing they got out. I know y'all been seeing video about wealth transfer and da 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 and all that. This what this is right here. This this Brent Wood system. That's the same thing. So check this out. I'm a, I'm gonna read it to you, and I'm gonna point out all the all the little things that going on right now and. Like I've been telling y'all, hashtag do your research. If you ain't been doing your research and going doing about looking up stuff and not just watching the news that come on TV, because you got the phone and the phone will give you anything you want to anything you want to see, you can look it up on the phone. Anything you think of, you can look it up on the phone. So if you ain't been doing your research. What I'm finna read to you, it ain't gonna make no sense, but. Let's hop right into it. Nixon and the end of the Brent Wood system, 1971 through 1973. Okay. On August 15, 1971, President Richard M. Nixon announced his new economic policy, a program to create a new prosperity without war. Known colloquially, you know, I don't know that word, but we move right along. As the Nixon shot, the initiative, see, now that right there, that word right there, I'm going to have to go look that up. The initiative marked the beginning of the end for the Bretton Woods system of fixed exchange rates established at the end of World War II. Okay, we're going to go on down. Start right here at under. Under the Brandon Wood system, the external values of foreign currencies, listen, they talking about currencies, okay, were fixed in relation to the U.S. dollar, whose value was in turn expressed in gold. We all know what gold is. And at the con congressionally set price of $35 per ounce. By the 1960s, a surplus of U.S. dollars caused by foreign aid, military spending, and foreign investments threatened the system, as the United States did not have enough gold to cover the value of dollars in worldwide circulation at the rate of $35 per ounce. As a result, the dollar was overvalued. So let me tell you this, people. Is that not going on right now? It say right here. It say U.S. dollar caused by foreign aid, military spending, foreign investment. Is the dollar not being overvalued and being devalued? Moving right along. President J.F. Kennedy and Lyndon B. Johnson adopted a series of measures to support the dollar and sustain Brent Woods. Foreign investment desensitives restrictions on foreign lending. Efforts to stem, to stem the official outflow of dollars. International monetary reform. And we all know monetary mean money and cooperation with other countries. 
Nothing worked. Do y'all hear that? So that's what's going on right now. Ain't nothing working. Ain't nothing working. And you look in the news. Everything they trying, they ain't nothing working. They got to look in, uh, Joe, you know, president right now, 2023, 2024. He can't do nothing. Everything is, is overwhelming. So they don't nobody know what to do. Okay, move right along. Meanwhile, traders for foreign exchange markets believing that the dollar's overvaluation would one day compel the U.S. government to devalue it. Prove increasingly inclined to sell dollars. This resulted in periodic runs on the dollar. So do we all know what runs on the dollar mean? So runs on the dollar, it just simply means when you go to the bank, just say everybody where you stay, they go in the bank at the same time and, and want to withdraw some money. So it was a lot of that going on, a run on the dollar. It was a lot of people getting their money out of banks and wherever they had money at, they were getting their money out. Okay. It was just such a run on the dollar, along with mounting evidence that the overvalued dollar was undermining the nation's foreign trading position, which prompted President Richard M. Nixon to act. On August 13, 1971, Nixon convened a meeting of his top economic advisors, including Secretary of the Treasury, John uh Connolly, and Office of Management and Budget Director George Schultz, Schultz at the Camp David President Retreat to consider a program of action. Notably, absent from the meeting were Secretary of State William Rogers and President Assistant for National Security Affairs Henry Kissinger. Now, that's the guy that I know y'all you know, the seen in the news recently, lately, he in too long died. Henry Kissinger. He was a part of that. What what he missed he didn't he didn't even go to the meeting. Mm. Did he know something? Okay, check this out. And then plus he the, he he was one of the, the most wealthiest people. Okay. Okay, moving right along. After two days of talks on the evening of August 15th, Nixon announced his new economic policy in an address to the nation on the, on the challenge of peace, asserting that the progress in bringing an end to U.S. involvement in the war of Vietnam meant that it was time for American to turn their minds to the challenges of a post-Vietnam world, Nixon identified a threefold task. We must create more and better jobs. Do, 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 are we hearing that on the news? We must stop the rise in the cost of living. Are we hearing that on the news right now? We must protect the dollar from the attacks of international money speculators. Are we hearing that on the news right now? <laughs> to achieve the first two goals, he proposed tax cuts. Okay, they talking about cutting taxes right now, y'all. Do y'all hear me? <laughs> Nine, and a 90-day freeze on prices and wages. To achieve the third, Nixon directed the suspension of the dollars. He suspended the suspension of the dollars convertibility into gold. He also ordered that an extra 10% tariff be levied on all durable imports, like the suspension of the dollar's gold convertibility. This measure was intended to induce the United States' major trading partners to adjust the value of their currencies. Listen, now they, they steady bringing up these currencies. The brain, they, they say they want to value of their currencies upward 
and the level of their trade barriers downward so as to allow for more imports from the United States. A success at home. Nixon's speech shocked many abroad who saw it as an act of worrisome utilitarianism, the assertive manner in which Connolly conducted the ensuing exchange rate. Negotiations with this foreign counterpart did little to allies such concern. Nevertheless, after months of negotiations, the group of 10, G10, so they got a group out right now. You go look this up. They call G20. They didn't, they didn't grew. Okay? The group of 10, G10, in, in industrialized democracies agreed to a new set of fixed exchange rates centered on a devalued dollar. And that's what they doing. They devaluating the dollar. Y'all, come on now. Y'all got to go do your research. They doing everything I'm, I'm reading right now. Devalue dollar, all the, the bricks, them folks didn't got together across all them countries. They didn't got together, and them folks don't want to deal with the dollar no more. That's what they talking about. So, devalue dollar in the December 1971 Smithsonian Agreement. Although characterized by Nixon as the most significant monetary agreement in the history of the world. Y'all see that? The most significant monetary agreement in the history of the world. That's what they called that back then. Okay. The exchange rates established in the Smithsonian Agreement did not last long. What's about to happen is not going to last long, y'all. Okay. Then it say... 15 months later, so what is 15 months? 15 months, that's a year and three months. A year and three months. In February 1973, speculative market pressure led to a further devaluation of the dollar. Dollar just kept going down. Price is rising. And another set of exchange parties. Several weeks later, the dollar was yet again subjected to heavy pressure in financial markets. However, this time there will be no attempt, they say no attempt, to shore up Bryn Woods. In March 1973, the G10 approved an agreement wherein six members of the European community tied their currencies together. <laughs> And jointly floated against the U.S. dollar, a decision that effectively signaled the abandonment of the Bryn Woods fixed exchange rate system in favor of the current system of floating exchange rate. Y'all, this going on right now. Everything right there. Everything right there in that bottom right there going on. Man. So what you say, what we got to do, you got to... You got to do your research. Like, can't, ain't nobody going to hold your hand through your whole life. You can point you the right way. And you can, and plus you got to have your mind right too. You can't just go in and thinking you finna, you know, get some money out of it. You got to know what you're getting your money for, where your money going, you know, what your money finna do for you. You putting money in to make money. You got to have a plan. You got to have a strategy. And so, let's scroll right on down. It's a table of contents. The first one they talking about President Nixon and Gerald Ford. This what I want. I want to show y'all right here. Now we know this right here went on. They were talking about the Vietnam War, right? There was the ending of the war that right there after the little money thing hit with uh Nixon. You, the uh where it say right here, Nixon 
and the end of the Brent Wood system, 1971 through 1973. So move right down here. They were talking about oil. What's going on right now, y'all? They talking about oil. And then right here, the Arab and Israeli war. What's going on right now, y'all? Come on, man. <laughs> this stuff right here. They doing this stuff over and over, y'all. So, okay, now, come right here, y'all. The Angola crisis. The, after all that good stuff that happened, the crisis and everything came. Then, they, look, they talking about the shuttle diplom diplomacy and the Arab Israeli dispute. Man, y'all, we got to wake up. These folk are playing games and playing tricks, and they doing the same thing, though. All this stuff, all this stuff right here, man, this stuff right here, it going on right now. All it. All that right there. This where we at right now. This where we at right now. And y'all already hear about this. I know y'all hear about this every day on your phone. And we hearing about the oil and gas prices. Then they gonna come up and say, y'all, the, the war has ended. They can talk about peace. But the price is gonna be up. Then they gonna hit you with a crisis. Boy, this crazy. Hey, it's your boy Jungle Book Blue, man. I just want to share that with y'all. I'm out.